Demonstrators in Kiev this month attacked Russian banks like this one and called for another revolution. The last one two years ago, they say, has not gone far enough in tackling corruption and cronyism. Demonstrations like this one show how far Ukraine has to go, says Transparency International's Yevon Cherniak, speaking with VOA from Kiev via Skype. People angry uh, because uh, authorities now, uh, after authorities, uh, the higher uh, the president, the prime minister, they uh, people th people think that they continue uh, corruptional traditions in Ukraine. And uh, Maidan sent, have sent a message, uh, concrete message to the authorities, stop corruption. But uh, they continue. Meanwhile, Russia keeps up its pressure in rebel-held eastern Ukraine. After a lull that lasted months, fighting has spiked in the last few weeks. It reflects the reality of the situation, which is simply that whatever the Kremlin says publicly, it has not given up its long-term strategy of seeking to destabilize Kiev to stop the government in Kiev from ultimately turning westward and, and away, from, away from Russia. Emboldened by its gains in Syria, Moscow wants to show Ukraine and the West it can fight two wars at once. Prospects for peace are as uncertain as ever. As Russian-backed separatists step up their offensive, Ukraine fights back and it becomes more difficult for Kiev to implement peace accords. The Minsk agreements, the latest of them a year ago, signaled some hope, but that is fading. Kiev has yet to implement one of the main parts, to hold elections in separatist-controlled regions. The main reason why Kiev hasn't held elections at the moment is simply because of the, the dire security situation there. It is inconceivable that a candidate um, who is not explicitly pro-Russian would be able to hold hostings, campaign, move about freely, uh, in those cities. Analysts say improving security in the east depends on Russia, but Moscow is showing no signs of wanting to pull out of the conflict or negotiate a settlement. The Ukrainian government this month narrowly survived a no-confidence vote in parliament, and frustrations are showing early signs of boiling over again as patience wears thin among those who want corruption and economic disparity gone for good. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, London.